Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah Barakata To all my brothers and the sisters that keep the law And the faith On the highways, byways Pushing commandments to all of my people In the place where they never were equal And the people who run it are evil Shooting us down in the street Poison the food that we eat Poison the water we drink Making it hard to think The devil is playing for keeps They get the money and go Leaving us stuck on the bottom Soon as they spot them, they got them I tell you the devil is rotten I know that them niggas are scheming and plotting It won't be forgotten Yeah, how it is watching Soon as he give us the power, my nigga You know that we getting it popping Yeah, how it by Shim Yeah, how it shot me my Earth. I'm a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. I'm and a child of God. And that's what we're trying to tell you. You're the what? That's idolatry right there, man. Where is? The Ayahuatl. That's that's Egypt. We're not dealing with Egypt. Who yeah. you think Jesus was? Egyptian, bro. Jesus was oh, Egyptian? Oh, man, this guy. He going off. Adam and Eve was born in Egypt. He going off. But Egypt isn't even here yet. Bro. And how could Jesus be Egyptian when he the was a Hebrew? He was a Hebrew. The tree of life is inside the pyramid with the angles that oh, hold no, the... No, 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 no. You bugged out, baby. Bro, you do your research. I did my research. No, you didn't. I need you to prove you it, though. Know what the Bible I need you to prove it with the scripture. You don't even know what the Bible says. What's your nationality? My nationality? Albino. Yeah. Albino is not in the Bible. What's your nationality? White and black were made from Albino. No, they wasn't. They who's your father? Who's your nationality? Who's your father? Who's your father? No, your no, who's your, Christ, who's, Christ your, who, who's your who's your who's your father on earth? Christ. Christ ain't had no kids, so he ain't can't be your father. Christ God could be spirit. your father because he got Christ is God. Christ is not God. Oh, see so there you going off. Him, Christ is God's God, son. Bro. Christ is God's son. And he came through what? Spirit to form, right? He came in the flesh. Who do you think I am with the spirit of his son? You me? are a Hebrew Israelite, I believe. For what's your dad? What's your father's nationality? Is he a black Egyptian, man? Is he a white bro. man? He's Egyptian? No, he ain't no Egyptian, man. He don't know what he's talking about. You don't about. believe me? You bugged out, Ock. You, 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 do I got these letters? Can I ask you? That's his tattoos. Hey, do you man. know what these are? Tattoos represent the tattoos. a person's person character. Well, tattoos are a sin according to God. Uh, according to God, so you ain't supposed to have tattoos. I keep the commandments. Go ahead. Go and no. get that. You a lie. What sin do I commit? The only person that didn't say no, was no, God, bro. No, it wasn't. Yes, What's, it was. So God. You a lie. God. Let me get about this corner, bro. Hey, no, what no, sin no, do no. I commit? No, a crease no, right no, now. No, what no, sin no. do I commit? Hold on, Rob. Hold on, Rob. Hold on, Rob. What sin am I committing? Accuse me, bro. Accuse me. What sin am I committing? Right now, exactly. You confound it. And secondly, Christ was the only one that didn't uh, sin. You had Job. You had Zachariah. So you confounded again. Shut up, gentlemen. Alright, we got a brother out here that's bugged out, man. It's gonna get hot and hot, you don't believe. Yeah, you know why? Because Christ's gonna come back with nuclear fire. It's gonna get real hot. And guess who's gonna make it burn in this motherfucker? Christ! That's what I just no, said. His son. That's Christ, bro. Christ is coming back to set this place on fire, man. Not Christ, because you know what? You got tattoos and you're trying to justify it. You just need to get brighter? You want to see it get hotter? Oh, this is you bugged out, bro. You want to see it get hotter? Do it. Do you say you Christ? You say you Christ, bro? Anyway, so we out here to wake up the lost sheep, not the dead sheep, man. We out here for our people. The Hebrew Israelites. Not the Egyptians, man. Bro, Egyptians was the first people on the earth. Hey, the Egyptians could drop dead, man. And guess what? They had us in captivity. And guess what? You didn't sin right there, so how you say you ain't? I sin? What's the sin? What is the sin, bro? Oh, they can drop dead, bro. That, yeah, they can drop dead. You know why? Because they have. That's a sin. You're contradicting. Do you yourself. know what sin is? You're contradicting yourself. Hey, you ready, uh, Jeremy? Give me uh, First John three and four. Let's see what sin is. First John three and four. Come on, Trial. You gotta know these things, man. No, you need to know these things. I know these things. That's why I'm showing you, you in the Bible. Know everything that's in the Bible. I know everything that's in the Bible. If you know everything that's in the Bible, who is this? That's a damn idolatry, bro. You think so? And that thing could drop dead, too. So you're telling a Catholic church to drop dead? The Catholic church could drop dead. Where in the Bible does it say? You're a false believer, bro. And so you saying the Catholic church is real, bro, and it's true? Do you believe in Jesus? Absolutely. What color was he? He was black. So the Catholic church got him white, right? Guess where he was born at? The Catholic church got him white, right? Don't they? No. That's they do. In the Catholic Church, they got him as a white boy, right? In a Christian church, they got him as don't a white boy. Don't the Catholic boy. Church, don't they touch little boys? Don't every church touch little boys? Not our church. You're We're the Hebrew Israelites. You're We're not touching no little boys, You're bro. You're a lie. I'm a lie. Prove it. Prove I'm lying. Prove all things. 
We don't. What church? What church are we? What church are we? What church are we, bro? What church are we? What are you? We the Hebrew Israelites. Where is that? We right here, in front of your face. This? Yes, bro. It says don't preach on this corner of the street. Hey, give me uh, Zechariah um, 11 and 5. Let's see if you a damn liar. Drop that. Give me Matthew 22 and 9. We're going to see if you a damn liar, bro. This wind gets stronger, right? You're, you're sinning. I'm sinning for you're what? You're sinning because you lied, bro. You the lie. That's the sin. Come on, bro. You out here talking to the children of God. Read that up. Matthew 22, verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highway. Go ye therefore into the highways. Go ahead. And as many as ye shall find, then to the marriage. So we're not supposed to be out here on these corners, but the Bible said go into the highways and the byways and bid them to the marriage. And do what? And bid them to the marriage. The marriage. The marriage, Ak. Okay. That's Christ remarrying Israel again when that he come back. Preach on the corner of the street. Read it again. Go ye therefore into the highway. We out here in the highways and the byways teaching our black people and the Hispanic people. God the children of God, man. No Y'all need to wake this, up, man. This is not no highway. So this brother's confounded. You don't know, know his Bible. You don't know and he got a is. fake ass uh, idolatry. Is this fake? Is this yes, fake? Yes, man. You can throw that thing in the street, bro. Is this fake? We. Go ye therefore into the highway, right? And as many as ye shall find, that means bid to the marriage. We trying to bid you to the marriage, huh? Prophet, That's the bro. thing. We out here to tell our people what's really going on, You're and when they prophet, don't want to hear it, we false prophets. And I but he ain't said nothing that bro. came out of no Bible, in the no of God, God man. Bro. And he trying to fight his people. Give me Deuteronomy. Yeah, bro, God, what scripture? Man, give me Deuteronomy twenty-eight and uh, what is that? Forty-six or fifty-four? His eyes shall be evil. Come. We gonna show you where you at in the Bible, trial. And if you really believed in God, you wouldn't have no mask on. I thought the blood of Jesus. Wait, you say you Jesus, right? I didn't say I was Jesus. I said I'm His son. You the son of Jesus. So when did Jesus have kids? What scripture is that? His child came from. Uh, why are you walking up on me like you want to fight your brothers, man? Why are you saying that? To try to convict me? Why are you walking up on your brothers with your hands on? Why are you not? Why, bro? Why would I do that? What did I say that's me? your enemy? What did I say? Lying, bro. I'm lying. Show me in the Bible where we gotta have a damn cross. You don't know what it's in. Show me in the Bible where Christ died on the cross. Read that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 54. Right. So that the man that is tender among you. See, it's a lot of tender on, brothers bro. out here, feminine brothers is that out the here, man. And very delicate. Right? His eyes shall be evil towards his brother. What's wrong with this nigga right here? His eyes shall be well, evil no, towards his brother. Now you wrong with this brother right here looking at his own brothers? Now his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. brother. So now bro, his eyes no evil shine. towards don't us shine because we're trying to get him out the fire. We're trying to wake you up, brother. We're trying to get you this knowledge and this statutes and these commandments bro. that you are entitled to, bro. Read, what is but now you want to fight us. What is it Read it again, huh? What is this Ten So that the man that is tender among you right. and very delicate, and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Why your eye evil towards what, us, bro? What is the Ten Commandments? It's 613 commandments. What's the Ten Commandments of this earth? It's 613 commandments. On that tablet, it's 613 commandments. No, the tablet was sitting down for the Most High. We got scared. We told Moses to go get the rest, man. Wake up, brother. So what is the Ten Commandments on that tablet? The Ten Commandments are in this book, bro. Say it. What you mean, say it? Say why, you, why just the Ten when it's 613? That you and the government and everybody else. Why? Yo, when there's 613 commandments, Yo, bro. bro. Where's your fringes you at? You can't do now one of them commandments. What, do we have to wear fringes? You can't do one of them commandments. Wait, we can't keep the commandments? No, you can't. So you can't honor your father and your mother? You gonna whoop their ass I now and kill father. them? Ain't and that a commandment you can keep? My father's God himself. Ain't that a commandment you can keep? He said, don't abide in the father and the earth. Is that not a commandment you can keep, heaven, bro? bro? Hold on, so you saying we can't keep the commandments? No, you can't. But I thought we could do all things in Christ who strengthen us. Through Christ himself. So through Christ, I can keep the commandments. You can follow no, it, brother. No, you gotta, uh, but you don't think that you're perfect. Hey, give me Matthew. Uh, Are give you me, perfect? I'm going to show you. Give me Are Matthew 548. Are you perfect? We're going to see. Don't condemn yourself. We're going to see, bro. Put your hand on this cross and say you're perfect. We're going to see. Hey, if I put my hand on that cross, I'm going to chuck it into the street. And you will be cursed for the rest of your life in Jesus' name. Can I throw it in the street? Will you allow me to throw it in the street? If you will, and people will look at you like you crazy. Can I throw it in the street? Are you going to try to fight me if I throw it in the street? I don't fight for the cross, bro. All right, here. I'm going to throw it in the street, brother. Throw it. You don't need this, bro. If you throw it, my nigga, All right, you're damn, bro. You're, you're 
stupid, bro. Hey, listen. And when people on that camera see that hey, you threw that cross. Listen, bro. Bro, where you throw that? Now go get my cross. You want it? Go get it. You want it? Go get it. It's idolatry. It's idolatry. Go get that cross. You got to get that cross. It's not idolatry. Go get, get the car away. Do you want go it? Go get the cross. Alright, you gotta back up though. You go gotta back up. You gotta back up. Tell him to go get that cross. No, no, you, you told no, him he can throw it. Because this cross is gonna convict. No, it's not. That's yeah. a gold chain, bro. Do you want it? That's gold, bro. Do you, you, you not care about that cross? Do you want it? That's my cross. Can you answer my question? Answer my question. I am that obese child. Can you answer my question, bro? Go get that cross. Do you want it or do you want? Cause God's children don't do that shit like you just did. You said I could throw it away. No, I did not. You did, bro. No, it's well, on camera. Out of what mouth? You under your mouth. Did you anybody hear me away. say yes? It's on camera. Go on the scavenger. Yeah, I, but you got to give us our distance, though, no, man. No, he going to go get my cross. How about this? The I'll guy going to make y'all leave How about it. this? I'll get it after you hear this. No, you going to go get that cross. No, I'm going to get it after I read this verse, all right? That Bible is convicted. So you don't believe in the Bible now? I believe in a holy Bible. What Bible is that? King James. This is King James. James okay. verse. So the, You're an Israelite, uh -huh. though, right? 548. Can you go get my cross? Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Hold on, but be ye therefore go perfect. Cross. So the Bible says. You're perfect. being in vain hold right on, now. On, listen, I don't care bro. about nothing other. Hey, I'm going to get your fake go cross get after the, the scripture, all right? Go get the cross so everybody listen, around here is fake. Hey, listen, bro. Calm, calm down, man. Go get the cross so everybody around here is fake. Which is in heaven is perfect. Back it up, man. Be ye therefore perfect. Calm down, man. The Bible says be perfect. I can't calm down unless I have honey. Do you know anything about that? Oh man, you bugged out, man. You bugged out, man. You think that bugged out? You bugged out, man. You think prophecy ain't true? You bugged out. You think prophecy ain't true? Go get my cross, bro. I'll get it, bro. After this precept. No, go get it right now, my nigga. I got God business. Take care. You can go get that cross. That cross is keeping you from God, bro. How you not understanding this? You ain't gonna go get that cross? I'll get it. I said you I'll get after the scripture, right? Bro, you and I have to get you. You don't get that cross. Is that fine with you? I will get it after your precept, bro. Call my bluff. You can't. Dude, I'm calling nobody off right free. now. You, you can't call nobody because right. you'll be in vain. Bro, you not supposed to worship no cross, Ock. I don't worship a cross. That's why you want mean. it, though. Why you want it? It's my cross. Okay, well, I'll get it. It's a dollar tree, man. It's a dollar tree. It ain't that dollar tree. It's a dollar go tree. Go find it. Go get my cross, bro. bro I'm going to get it. After go get it right now. Do you care about the Bible? Are you a spiritually heavenly brother? You care about the Bible? Then you go get that freaking cross. Nigga, I got the Bible in my backpack. Okay, so now. So go get my cross. No, listen, bro. We're going to get my cross, bro. No, bring it out. We're going to read a preset, bro. Bring the Bible out. We're going to read this precept and then I'm going to go get your cross, all right? Hey, hey get, your, get your bag off the corner. That way nobody take your bag, all right? We're out here looking out for you, man. Yeah, oh, weak ass cross, man. You think that cross is fake? Yes, bro, it is, man. Now grab you know your what? Bible and read along, man. man. What does that say in the Bible? You, you right Catholic, now. huh? You Catholic, huh? I'm Catholic, back. Yeah, yeah, you got you finished, bro. We ain't got nothing else for you. We you just first cross that sneaking down home and, uh, and, and, and love him at cross. Yo, it's man. over for his cross, man. <laughs> you should have been on the street, like when the cross tires of your cross. You didn't go down the street, street you'll get hit in your mouth. By who? By me. Why? Why, bro? Why are you trying to fight your brother, man? Damn. Because he's not going to... No, because that thing is idolatry, bro. My cross. He's not going to do nothing to my cross. If he do, he will follow the repercussions. You just told me that he could throw it in his street. No, I did not. We got it on camera, bro. My words did not come out of my mouth, bro. Yes, it did, man. Lying. You're not lying, bro. What are you doing? Set the book, bro. Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Oh, my goodness. And it's ain't no ceremony doing it on the corners of these streets. He said, he said, he, he said up a... Don't get my cross, bro. A voodoo, a voodoo ceremony right there. So he's a lot of demons out here, man. Yeah, you feel he went get stronger, right? Hey, bro. Get your stuff off the corner so nobody don't run your stuff over, man. Look at this, man. Look at this, Israel. Okay, get on with this, man. This is, this is why we come out here, the man. Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. This is why we come out here. Our people dug down. This dude thinks that he's Catholic. Where in the Bible does it say be Catholic? Get that precept when he said you're uh, suffering from badness and uh, we're starting to uh, get hard. Give me 28, 28. Bro, go get my cross. And then also, if you know uh, I'm suffering out of wisdom. Go get my cross, bro. Well, Kyle, okay, you get a little bit too close, man. Bro. Don't tell me, bro. I'm telling you, get, get, get off. Are you an Israelite? Yeah, we're an Israelite. We're we 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 beat you to death out here, bro. We ain't playing around. Tell me to go get my cross. I'm on my cross. 
I'm bro. Go get it no, y'all gonna go get it. No, you get it, bro. Here, my nigga. You ain't a dog, nigga. Treat me like a dog, nigga. You been ahead of this guy, man. Bro, we might, I don't, I don't we might have, have to, bro. We you might have to. Sure, you will not, bro. You won't be that good in anything. Yo, get my cross, bro. I'm gonna get it. Yo, get my cross, bro. I ain't get shit. You ain't no Israelite, nigga. You ain't no Israelite, nigga. You ain't no Israelite. You ain't. This is a, this is, this is why you not no Israelite. That right there, bro. You got a demon on yourself. You got a demon on You got a demon on yourself. Yeah, and we got you on camera saying I can throw that whack ass cross, bro. We rebuke you. We rebuke you. Get out of here, man. Get out of here, demon. Come on, bro. Get out, of demon. Fuck. You know what the fuck you talking about? Hey, what's your name? How much we rebuke this demon? Are you Go get my cross. Are you Legion? Go get my cross. How many of it is in there? How many of y'all is in there? Is it Legion? Go get my cross. How many of it is on you, bro? Go get my cross, bro. Legion? Bro, go get my cross, bro. Hey, you can go get it. You know where it's at. All three on Jesus' name. Your curse is falling on deaf ears right now, bro. You can curse somebody in the Father's name. Wow. You don't believe me? Read the Bible. What's the Father's name? Guess what? What's the Father's name? He over Go get my cross. What's the Father's name? That's not his name. Yahweh is not the, his name, bro. That's Yiddish. You're a lie. I'm not a lie because there was no E's bro. in the Hebrew. So who the, what, what's his God. name, bro? He ain't paying attention to you. God's name is Yahweh, bro. It ain't because there ain't no E's in the Paleo Hebrew. So what's his name? Bro, you is a false prophet, my you nigga. You confound it, bro. No, you're not fine. You're hey, going to get my what's cross, your, What's bro? your nationality? You're going to get my cross, bro. You're black? Your backpack is black, but your skin is brown, right? I curse these brown. So what's your nationality? And more, I don't drink honey. More That's two different bro. white men's names. Bro, is Yahweh? You would be a, a Hebrew or Israelite from the tribe of Judah, most likely. Don't tell nobody what they. You so don't even know what nobody. According is. to the Bible, you're not and nobody according to history, you're not nobody. That's who you would be. But you're the not people that's living you're a liar. Today, you're a false prophet, they don't want bro. You to know that. You're a false prophet, bro. Right? Hey, look some of this stuff up, brother. All right? You're a false prophet, bro. Look at this. Hey man, you this can do demon. Want, bro. This demon. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a, demon. Like a demon. That's Christ's child. So these people. Who is Christ? Child, we don't recognize Christ up here. Yeah. I know you don't. We don't, we don't recognize Christ. Prophet. No, that's not, that's, that, was, that was never his name. Prophet. That was never his name, you're demon. False prophet. You mean, bro? Yeah, we can. You're false prophet. Deuteronomy 28, verse 28. Right? False prophet. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. What do you do to this wicked Negro out here? Smite thee with madness. What do you do to this wicked brother out here? Smite thee with madness. What do you do to this wicked brother out here? The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Go ahead. And madness. And what? And blindness. And astonishment of heart. Yeah, you got an astonishment of heart, brother. You know why? Because the Lord does smit you to madness, bro. You are here saying you are a child of God, but you are a child of the devil, man. And for you judging me, you will be judged in heaven. Give me Proverbs 31 and 9. You will not see the heaven. Can I judge you? Yes, you did. Can I judge you? No, you cannot. The Bible said, Thou shalt not judge. Give me that. We gonna see. Because I know you don't know your Bible. And actually, you told me you don't even believe in the Bible. Go ahead. Proverbs 31, verse 9. Open that mouth. Judge righteously. Hold on, go ahead and say it again. Now, Open that cross, mouth. Bro. Judge righteously. Nobody gonna get your cross, man. Your Nobody gonna get your cross. Go look for it, man. And plead the cause of the poor go and needy. That's all we are here to do, man. We are here to plead the cause of the poor and needy. That's you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Y'all are the real Jews according to the Bible. Let me say, let me say something right quick. Right? We are here to tell y'all where y'all going off at, man. That's real love. Go ahead. Hey, brother, man, out here you dealing with three alpha men. We ain't women up here, man. You ain't got the bad duckling. We the children. We we we, we, we prophets out here. We ain't women, man. We alpha males out here. So you ain't gonna command us to do nothing. I right here are false prophets, and these people. Will so not go get my if you don't like what you hear, go down the street. Go down the street with your Jesus loving, Caesar Borgia. The white man put you in slavery, and you want to fight us. The white man just choked us out of the street, and you want to fight your own brother. That's how sad you are. You ain't nothing but an Uncle Tom. I have them caught in their lives. Hey man, and this is sad, bro. We got a, a brother get killed by the police on camera. We got no another brother you get shot me in the streets now. while jogging. But this wicked Negro want to come they up here and fight the men of the Lord, man. This wicked brother want to come up here and fight against the men of the Lord and stop, man. Why? Because he's had his damn mind read that against 20 and 28. The most I got smitten with madness, man, and blindness and astonishment of hurt, man. And he want to come up here and fight his brothers. Sisters, y'all know y'all Hebrew Israelites. Brother, you know you a Hebrew Israelite. Y'all not black. Y'all not African-American, man. 
Y'all are the, y'all are the children of the book, man. Y'all are the children of God, man. That's all we out here to tell y'all. Don't get my but when we come out here and tell y'all these things, so y'all say you that can't go get my cross. y'all want to come here and fight us. You don't, you, you don't need the cross. You don't need the cross. You don't get my cross. The, 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 Bible, the, Bible, the Bible said the word is what you're supposed to advise. Make me drop dead, nigga. Make me drop dead like you said you were going to do. The Lord said what? You make your own judgment. You defiling your judgment. And an astonishment of heart. You're defiling your judgment, bro. You are okay, judging okay. others, and you're not probably judging yeah, yeah. others through a ceremony. And thou shalt go up at noonday. Where we at right now? Am I lying? Noonday. Am I lying? That's yeah, you lying, man. You don't worry about, about the word. The most high has spitted you a man and he's blinded you, man. Now I want you to hit me with that stick like you got it for, You man. want me to hit you with this stick? That's what you got it for, right? I got it to protect me because you want to roll up on us with your damn hands balled up, man. You lying. You all in my face, of course I grab my stick. Wicked nigga. And you're lying on camera. And you're judging me again. Of course I'm judging you. And the book said thou shalt not judge. But the book also said judge righteously. So which one is it, brother? Judge righteously. Do you know what that means? Yes. That means be righteous and judge people righteously. What is righteousness? Give me Psalms. Give me Psalms. Give me Psalms. 147 and 19. You just said you're worse than a liar because it's not. I'm going to show you what righteousness is because I know you don't know what righteousness is. And you would be held accountable in your church. Hey, brother, we try to edify our people. We try to edify our people. We don't have time for folly. I know you don't give a fuck about the cross, bro. Because you don't care about your people. I give your cross. Like I said. You don't care about your people. You don't care about God's people. You dealing with Alpha Bills over here. 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 You dealing with Alpha Bills you gonna cross cut if you an alpha male. This guy won't get in my cross. I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. We don't give a damn about no cross. Give me a camera. We don't give a damn about no cross. Give me a camera right now. Give me right now. That cross can drop dead, bro. You hear this on camera. Now, when I put this over the internet and it goes live, then everybody will know that. And nobody gonna listen to you, man. You have no dollars. And spread it, bro. It will spread, bro. And I want you to. If not, I will. Put it on the internet right now, bro. I am. You know why? I am. You know what people gonna say? This dude is bugged the hell out. Bugged out. Bugged yeah, out. Go find your cross, bro. And we gonna keep reading. And we gonna we gonna keep reading the scripture. Give me Psalms one nineteen one forty two. Psalms one nineteen verse one forty two. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Hold on, what? Oh, why what? what? It's an everlasting righteousness. I'm asking again. Thy righteousness. Hey, listen, bro. Go ahead. Thy righteousness. It's an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. And thy what? Thy law is the truth. What is righteousness? Thy law is the truth. Hey, that's what's righteousness, bro. So when we judge you, do what you gotta do. We gotta judge you according to the law, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Deuteronomy 6, verse 25. Right. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. It should be our righteousness if we observe and to do all these what? Commandments. Go ahead. Before the Lord. As he commanded us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Bring it up. If you hit us with one of those rocks, man, you're going to get dealt with. You're going to get my cross. If you hit us with one of those rocks, you're going to get dealt with. If you hit any of these brothers up here with a rock, you're going to get dealt with. You're going to get dealt with. You're going to get dealt with me, homie. An alpha male. All right. Keep saying that. And you saying that on your camera. Hit us with one of those stones, you'll get judged. You already judged. Go ahead. Go ahead. Around, we ain't playing around out here. You walk up in the lines, then you gonna get roared upon, man. We are still men out here, just like Christ was. No, you are not just like Christ. So you say you don't believe in Christ. Christ kept the command. When did I say that, bro? We reading Christ's words right now. What you talking about? You the one that don't believe in Christ, cause you the one that's uh, doing Catholic religions and Catholic customs and looking for a damn vain cross, man. Right here. Do whatever you want to do, bro. Curse by who? Curse by who? What kind of candle is this, bro? It's a Roman Catholic candle, man. You ain't even Roman. Or you might be. You might be Esau. I don't really Hold know, my man. Nah, okay. man. I feel like you might be Esau, man. Cause you ain't acting like none of our brothers up here, man. Yeah, you ain't acting like brothers going to get my quote. Why not? Hey, give me so Isaiah 58. You acting like animals. I'll touch your damn cross. I'll give you a favor, don't man. Don't do it, my nigga. I'll give you a favor, man. Nigga, I'm playing. I don't Go ahead. Go you ahead. Think you're Go playing, ahead. Do man. it. You know what I think you're playing? Don't do it. You don't have to read your Bible, and you don't even care. That's my that, that's my radio. I don't give a fuck. Go get my cross, nigga. 
You ain't bigger than what you think you is. You know who took down a tyrant, nigga? You ain't shit, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Hundred knockings and stuff, man. You don't even know what that is. Isaiah, 58, verse 1. Right? Very loud. Uh -huh. Very loud. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. It's all my people. My Sell that for wolf ticket. Lift up that voice like a trumpet. Sell your wolf tickets across the street. People, their transgression. Uh, In the house of Jacob, their sins. That's all we out here to do, man. We out here to show our people their transgressions. In the house of Jacob, their sins, bro. That's all we trying to do. This nigga, all right. Come on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, nigga. You took my shit, nigga. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. You took my shit. I want my shit back. Wait till you shit. Go get my fuck, nigga. This is gonna be a two minutes. Hey, shit, why I'm done with your big ass on your back? Yeah, go get my shit. We don't touch your cross. This is crazy. Demons, man. Oh, that's a fire. I got one that's in the straight to your face. Go ahead, God. I got A1 and. Go ahead, God. Why you? Get my crook. That's all I asked for. Get my fucking crook. Go find it. I didn't, I didn't touch your crook. This neighbor's gonna go to your side. Okay. You can't go with this. You throw it, I'ma catch it. Don't get my book. You ain't gonna go get it, right? You go get it? Nah, Nobody stop me. Okay. Y'all do it. Y'all are about the end of like sumo week, so you might grow. I do it, I'm motherfucking. Then you are false prophet, nigga. Okay, okay. Alright, we'll be false prophet. It ain't no fucking baby coming, nigga. You gotta stop doing your shit, nigga. I'll push your butt. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not going to go. I want the baby to run up on that big nigga. The man is going to run up on that big nigga. The man is going to run up on that big nigga. The Pray your white Jesus. And I'm a white Jesus. You this is you worship. This who you worship. This is who you worship. White Jesus. You worship white Jesus. Jesus is a black man. He's a white 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 man. He's a Go pray your white Jesus. Nigga. You're gonna see a Christ Egyptian. Nigga. Yeah, throw it, nigga. And then it's gonna be in the your face, nigga. They drop dead, nigga. Yo, mama. Go get my book. Man, go find it. Go fetch, Fido. Go fetch, Fido. Go, go, fetch, Fido. Go, go fetch, Fido. Go fetch, Fido. Go fetch, Fido. I'm gonna take my time, man. Go fetch. Nigga, go fetch, Fido. You wanna do, bro. You still going in that lake of fire. You are too? Nope. We're judging people because you are not we can God. Judge, bro. And you are not his child. I am a God. There ain't no gods on this earth. There's plenty of gods on this not earth. Not you. I am one. Not you. I am. Why you go to cross and you a guy and you know about that cross? Because that cross ain't got nothing to do with God, bro. You're yeah. not, bro. Yo. You're not, bro. Yo. 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 Man, go out there. You don't like to get here. Go down the street. Go down the street, man. Go get my shit. You ain't get nothing. Don't do no ceremony right here. You ain't dealing with women out here, man. Nigga, don't get fucked. I'm not dealing with women out here. I don't care. 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 I don't care.
Don't give my shit. He gonna go out of ceremony. Nigga. You ain't dealing with women out here, all right? You dealing with alpha men. You ain't no alpha man. You a pink nigga. Man, go ahead and deal with the cops, man. Who took down the You don't like what you hear? Go down the street. You don't like what you hear. You Jesus lover? Yeah, you like White Jesus. You hypocritical. You think Jesus a white man? You're hypocritical. Nigga, I say it was Jesus, dumbass. That's your Jesus. No, that's your Jesus. That's why he's on your picture. This is a black man. That's why he's on your picture. Nigga, go get my cross, bro. Ain't nobody getting nothing up here. I, I promise you that. I promise you that. I, I promise you. I promise you. We got Stockholm Syndrome, man. You know, we know the most highest name is not even Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shah. In the page of the Hebrew. But we got Stockholm Central niggas out here while we get killed, gunned down the street. He wanna fight his brothers. His eyes shall be evil to his brother. It's a shame that we gotta go to a white man for order. We gotta go to the to our old enemy for order. Or we gonna hurt that kid. That kid ain't nothing but 20 something years old. He not, he not right in the mind. Yeah, but he gonna get hurt, man. If he would've hit me with that rock, that would've been it. Look at this Israel, this plain dumb idiot acting a fool over a damn idolatry cross. A cross. A two dollar cross. Where's this damn cross at? Where did he toss it to? I don't know if we We try to edify our people. We got to do it all trolls, including our own people. So we out here for you, Israel. Despite everything that's going on, this brother's worried about a cross. We had two brothers that lost our, their life. And this brother wasn't worried about a cross. So we'll keep, keep it continuing the world and the law. God's word, law, statute, commandments. Yeah, just, just keep an eye on it. He's not riding it. So, don't worry about it, man. Don't, I wouldn't get nothing. I just want this nigga to get Yeah, man. Out here, we, we bowed out to nobody like him. We got the whole interaction. Yeah, yeah. He started throwing rocks. So we can continue. Okay. Call back up. Yeah, we all safe. Yeah. Thank you, brother. We just trying to teach the word. So despite what's going on, 
Oh my goodness, they break the cavalry? <laughs> We got our own people attacking us, man. Yeah. This is sad, man. Okay. All right. Well, he didn't hit nobody. We just want him to go off the premises. Yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just gotta keep the rock here. We're gonna need, need the rock. Put him right in this leg. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll get someone here. They're gonna come and talk to you guys. I appreciate All right. It. Oh, damn. Get that rock. What? Yeah, I see ya. He won his damn cross. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Probably um, resistant. Yeah, resistant. What's up, brother? It's a damn shit. We gotta <laughs> get the law enforcement, our old people. This is the rock right here. He threw this rock at these guys. And uh, he's, he's, he struck him in the leg. Yeah, he might, yeah. he might be a little 50 50. He's 50 struck him. He's got it on video, apparently. Yeah. And apparently, so basically, he's flagging down. He, he wasn't going away. Uh, they were trying to shoot him away. He was right there, too. He killed yeah, yeah. 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 more than one, though? Not just one. Just the one. But he had to attempt to throw more. No, 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 we're good. We're just teaching the Bible and he didn't like what we teach it. I remember the primary scene of Sawyer over here. Probably better off than he Yeah. Try to be patient. You're the right guy, right? Yeah, that's the right guy, yeah. We just. I can't see how he was sucking to you. Pardon? You saw how he was sucking to you? No, I know, I know. I was just trying to not escalate it. Yeah. We actually have to, like, say, hey, is that the right guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure that's identifying the right person. Yeah. Like, we had to put in the report and you guys identified. Identify yeah. Well, if, if possible, we don't want to file no charge against as long as he well, can leave or something. Cause he might be, he might be some. Yeah. It just depends what the video shows. Okay. Throwing at you that size. That size. Yeah. That's gonna. That's, that's gonna do damage. Yeah. Okay. Man, I promise you guys, you guys are hit by that rock. You wouldn't have to say at all. Yeah, he didn't hit nobody. We don't yeah. want the. Oh, he, got, he hit me. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he hit me in my leg. <laughs> okay. Nah, I'm glad I got these boots on. I, I didn't know he hit you. Suspect over there. Yeah, they got eight, eighty-seven <coughs> units out here. They do it. That's the only action they got to everybody up there. Yeah. Damn, boy, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is a rock that he threw right there, yeah. He was at work, but some about his cross. So, and it's in the video, too. Okay. That's his cross. That's his cross. I'll let you guys explain that. Whoever's the primary, they've got the primary units. They're trying to investigate the what occurred. Like y'all right over there, everybody look at it. <laughs> 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 
Israel, we didn't want this to happen. We tried to compromise with the brother. The brother turned it to sap shit on us, throwing rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, David, yeah. Yeah, he turned to David on us. But our people are struck with madness. So there's these curses. You know, I don't like to see no brother get hipped up by police, but at least be in order. We tell you leave, leave. Cause we alpha bells out here. We're not taking no shit from nobody. <laughs> now we're gonna get off. Oh man. <laughs> it's funny because he said he, he threw a rock because I grabbed my stick. So he said if you hit me with a stick, I'm gonna throw a rock, but I'm yeah. gonna hit this Yeah man, I'm 300 pounds, man. That guy was like a buck oh five. I didn't wanna have to <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna credible hawk him, you know what I mean? You found the cross? How'd you find it? Where was the cross at? I saw it over there. Oh, okay. I, I would have kept it over there. You better like, than I am. I just want your ass to go home. Have your cross go home and yeah. make love to it, bro. Just get the hell up out of here. Yeah, like basically talking about, like, we gonna fetch a dog like we dogs. We gonna fetch your cross like we dogs. That's why he's going so hard, you know? He was saying the most drugged out stuff. Well, this all camera. I've heard in a long time. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the Anunnaki's in the Bible. Jesus is Egyptian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't get out of here. Oh, yeah. Honestly, we ain't got no He said he was Christ himself, didn't he? Yeah, he did say he was. Yeah, he said he was Christ himself. The sun's shining, the wind's blowing hard. Yeah, that's what I would have done. It was probably too late to know him because he was already tucked yeah, up. Yeah, he was already tucked up 100%. He, from the jump, he was trying to fight us. Like, his, his spirit was so, like, militant. Yeah. What, what, what? So. It's kind of funny. It's like a chihuahua trying to go get three pet bulls, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. <laughs> he lost Giddy. Right. Huh? Yeah, of course he got he wait till he got across the street because if he would have got closer, we out we would just would have had him look. That's where he left, so they they, they gotta be hey, cut his t shirt. Fuck out to the cop! We got the spirit, but LA's turned up, man. Uh, LA is turned up. Y'all want to keep going? I'll, I'll keep going. Eh? Damn. You know? I know they don't want to come and talk to us. We can bring it out to Yeah, bring it out, man. Sure. Yeah. This, this show stuff for no one. 
<laughs> check, check. Man, it's real. This is what we gotta deal with, man. This is what we gotta deal with. Brothers wanna come, hey, uh, uh, give me a, uh, that might become your enemy, that I tell you the truth. If you know that precept. Yeah, man, we just coming out here to tell our people what's really going on, man. What's in the Bible? Who are you according to the Bible? You know, just the basics. Uh, and they want to come fight us, man. Doesn't make no sense. We just read what the scriptures say, man. But some people's spirit can't take it. And I'm not going to lie, that dude, that brother might not have been one of our brothers. He might have been an uh, uh, Edom Edomite. Uh, trying to write his spirit can't take it, man. The brother had candles out here, ca Roman Catholic candles, a Catholic cross, Galatians, uh, the water. Yeah, read that real quick. Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. Hey man, we got a lot of enemies out here now because we just telling the truth. We just reading the Bible. Right. We just telling you that your little uh, uh, America is gonna crumble. That's right. Your little NBA season is over. Right. Your little uh, waves and your little honey dip at the club. All the little stuff you was comfortable with is coming to an end, man. That's right. And now y'all want to fight us for it. Y'all need to be mad at your God, man. Your God is the one that's declaring all these things. The Most High is the one that's saying all these things are going to come to pass, man. Hold on, hold on. Right, so, you know, and y'all see it in the video, man. We just had a brother come up here, scoffing us. Ever since me and Rob were setting up, we didn't even set up yet, man. <laughs> We was just starting to set up the brother when it come to scoff, talking about Jesus is an Egyptian, <coughs> and he's God's, he's Jesus' son, not even God's son, he said he's Jesus' son. Jesus didn't have no kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the Anunnaki's in the Bible and the underground world. The scoffing, man, and we tell him he's wrong, and now he want to fight. Hey, he's been watching, uh, what's that movie with Todd Banks? Uh, Leo, Leo Dolly Da Vinci or something like that. Uh, oh, the damn, uh, uh, that movie uh, where they said Christ the had a son. Code. Da Vinci Code. There you go. Yeah, da Vinci Code. We watched too much of Da Vinci Code. Talking about Christ had a son, but that's him. But he's two thousand years old. How the hell you you Christ's son? And that was two thousand years ago, man. God, the brothers bugged the hell out. But he want to fight us and throw rocks at us, man. And hey, get this rock on camera, Rob. Right? Brother, do this rock, man. He thought he was David, man. Thought he was David. <laughs> all because we, we threw this false ass um, cross, man. Read that one more time, Bobby Kasha. Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Right. Are we your enemy now that we tell you what's in this Bible? Are we your enemy now because what we read not this Bible, your uh, life don't agree with? Are, you, are we your enemy because we're reading this Bible and it don't match up with the God that you have in your head? That white man? It don't match up with what is in this Bible, man. So now you got a problem with us. You ain't got a problem with us. You got a problem with God, man. This Bible don't say God is right. This Bible don't say that uh, you could just not keep the commandments of God and you'll be fine. The Bible don't say that. So who is this guy y'all making up in your head, man? Who is that person? This is so-called white man. That's who it is, man. But y'all got a problem with that because it don't match with the, what the Bible say. But we know y'all don't read your Bibles. But why y'all mad at us because y'all don't read your Bible? You that's should right. be mad at yourselves, man. We the one that's reading the Bible and telling you that's in it, but now y'all got a problem with that. No, you got a problem with God, man. Revelations 1 and uh, 3 real quick. Hey, Rob, get that, get that right now, man. This is what happens when you go against the men of the Lord. I hate to see one of my brothers get locked up, man. That was judgment from the most high. That was judgment from the most high, man. Right. He got his angels around us to protect us, man. Them cops are not the angels, but the angels work in mysterious ways. Come on! Brothers over there, hemmed up on the ground. Eight squad cars. 
I don't like to see our brothers like that, but I definitely don't like to see our brothers in the shape that he was in. Ah. A damn two thirds. Man, we don't even want to press no charges. We just want the brother to leave, man. Oh, he needs that. He needs that. Yeah, he's yeah. Put him in the put him in the the psych ward. That's what you're trying to say, basically. He needs it, man. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he needs it, man. You know, it hurts us, but hey, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. All right, brother. Yeah, man. I'll be safe, and brother, you're Israelite. <laughs> but he not hearing that. But everybody ain't no Hebrew Israelite. The continent of Nubia was too large. You dealing with a Hispanian? Mm -hmm. I had a conversation with your other brother. Mm -hmm. So you can't mix the false with the truth, brother. You can't create your own movement. You want to talk about it or you going to walk away? I'm just saying, but yeah, I'm here to talk about it. All right, God, God. Give us a thing. Okay, but I lost the point of what Allah said four books. Mm -hmm. Give me he, a said the Torah, he said the Torah, the Injil, the Sabor, and the Holy Quran. Who said that? Allah said. He said four books. Oh, he probably said four books. Uh -huh. Brother, uh -huh. And each book for telling the coming of the book behind and the prophet and the messenger behind it. Give me uh, Hold on, brother. Of the of the Lord, you right? created something other than that, brother. The of the Lord, don't want to be you you created yeah. something other than what God has sent down Himself. Oh, actually, drop that. Give me if they speak not according to this word. Okay. Uh, say it again, brother. Say it again. If you created something and you said something other than what he sent down, uh -huh. you created something that God himself didn't send down, brother. That's right. Right? That's right. So so we read out the Bible, which God, God sent down himself. Hold on, let me talk because I let you talk, right? Okay, go now, ahead, now check go it out. Ahead, we read in what the what the most high God ordained for us to read. Is that the original text of the Dead Sea Scrolls that God sent down himself? Absolutely. But you it's sure? in it's in English now. Okay, you sure? Yep. Okay, well, do you do you have it? Do you have it uh, with with the Hebrew and and the English, so you can read the Hebrew yourself? Well, how would it look if I came out here and spoke Hebrew to our people that speak English? I said no, no, no. I'm well, asking I, a question. I, I asked a question, brother. I said, right. Is the book itself uh -huh. one side Hebrew and the other side English? So are you asking? Do we do comparative to compare the text? Okay. <coughs> well, we do, we do compare the text. You can see what it is. Validation, brother. I'm not, validation and reading and translation. Uh huh. I said it. Please say. He's, I lost, I'm going to create a body to place him among the earth. Uh -huh. That killed anything about power having anything to do with a man getting kicked out of heaven. So, brother, if we came out here and spoke Hebrew, like if I said, I've been now with Shabbat Shemar, Kodash Hayash, Shem Kayahawa, did you understand what I just said? No. Nope. So, why would I come out here and speak Hebrew? I said, is the book itself half of it in Hebrew and half in English? So the individuals themselves can translate. Nope. They have the Hebrew book and then they have the translated English version. Okay. So now we read both. Okay, let me go. Because we can I'm not gonna say we flew in Hebrew, but we know a little Hebrew and we know how to do the research. Okay. Now can you speak uh, um what do they speak over there in the Arab land and all of that? Arabic. You speak Arabic? I said I want to come off my two lives. I'll do blame and say thirty right. Now, are those your people or are those Arabs? No, those are Arabic people. So why you why you speaking their language and doing their heritage? Because that's their stuff. I'm not Muslim. But you're not Muslim. Yes, I am. No, you're not because the Arabs are Muslim. How you gonna tell me I'm not Muslim? Because you already have a heritage, bro. It was taken from you. Seventy percent of the people came over on this boat. Our ancestors, brother. Mm-hmm. They were Muslims. Thirty percent Christian. Do you know why? Do, 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 do you know why they were Muslim, bro? Because the Arabs tried to slave bro. God. That's why they were Muslims. You know the reason? Their actual heritage and nationality. They were Hebrews. Where's the, where the names on them boats, bro? They were Nubians. Where's the names on those boats? They were Nubians. Where's the names on those boats? It was a Hebrew, bro. Look up the slave uh, uh, documents, bro. Read that. Read that. One. I'm a victim. I'm a brother. I'm a survivor of the winning this syndrome. No, okay. you have Salah. You have victim and white supremacy. Go ahead. No. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 20. I am a survivor of the winning this syndrome, brother. The testimony. God has placed this truth here. Not according to Nothing his word. else, brother. Nothing else. If they speak not they according to his word, don't, don't, brother, listen to what listen to what it's saying. Go ahead. If they speak not according to his word, right? It is because there is no light in them. Right? 
So if you don't speak according to this Bible, that means there's no light in you. Who's that white man? Who's that? Okay, the 12 tribes. Okay. Twelve tribes. So, so, so why you got that man right there? Who is that? This is, that, this is that's, showing you who, who Jesus is. The fake, is not. the fake Jesus. Okay. Right this is showing you who Jesus is not. Okay. So y'all got y'all y'all got some truth here. Yeah, we we show you. It's some truth America here. was discovered by some Leo Scipio's Africans. Yeah, right. So you cannot be African American. We showing you a bunch of things right you, you're now. You're not African American. Really? No, nope. you're not. Okay, you are okay. the descendant of the former Nubian nation. Of the former the former known as Nubia. You are the descendant of that. We actually, we actually come from Israel. We, we, we well, that's what I'm saying. She's half. She's half. She's half. Yeah, I'm just trying to give you some history. You ham. No, you're ham. Right, ham. They're ham. You're not our people. You're not our people. You guys are what that sold us into slavery. Your, your people they sold our people in slavery. Yeah. Your people, your people. Six hundred years after Christ died. You call, you guys call us Akatas. You guys call us Akatas. We know how you guys feel. Oh yeah, we know. We know. We know. You guys call us Akatas. We know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> get ready for slavery. First Thessalonians five verse twenty one. She proud. What's your name? My name is Abdullah. What is it? Michael, servant of Allah. Michael, Michael, y'all. All right, listen to this, Michael. First Thessalonians 5 verse 21. Right. Prove all things. Most I said what? Prove all things. Most I said what? Prove all things. Go ahead. Hold fast that which is good. What, what is good is this Bible. That's what is good. You got to hold fast to that, brother. I, I, hope, uh, I saw, I saw, I saw 5 by 68. I lost the point of what Tyler said. Hold fast to all things. Hold fast to all the words that I have sent down. That means I'm bound by the Torah. Mm. I'm bound by the Israel. Support the Sabbath day as well as the Holy Quran. Can I ask him a quick question? All four books. I'm after this, after this. Hey, you believe in the, uh, the text, that what he said. You believe in the Sirah? Who? The Sirah? The Sirah? Yeah. It's in the Quran. The Sirah? The Sirah, yeah. The Sirah. The Sirah is. You mean the, uh, uh, the second chapter of the Bible? Second chapter of the Quran. Nah, brother, the Sirah. That's, 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 that's in Baccarat, brother. No, no, no. That's in the uh, Quran, oh, bro. Cow. It tells the you. The the calf, yeah. the calf of Baccarat is sword too, brother. No, no, yeah, yeah. I got the calf. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? That is a Baccarat. He talked to a real Muslim, brother. Yeah, I definitely know All right, all right before that. you leave. I lost the point of what Tyler. I wouldn't even be alive if God hadn't allowed it. My mother was hey, one of that. What you know Muhammad was a white man? Muhammad, tell Allah what he was He was a white man. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. No, he was Look not. it up. Hey, so we are here to tell our people what's really good. Hey, just read that for the edification sake. Do more research. Hey man, you ain't an Arab, bro. Hey, hey, you, hey, you, you from the tribe of Judah. You're a Hebrew Israelite, brother. Repent. We're trying to tell our people what's up. If edification, we can't bother to show. Ooh, we. Oh, okay, come. All right, the Hadith. You can look it up in the Hadith. Come, man. So you know, we are here to tell our people what's up, and they just trying to fight us, man. Oh. They trying to say they Arabs and Muslims and Baptists and. African Americans, man. None of that is what God called you. God called you a Hebrew Israelite from the various 12 tribes. Right, brother? That's right, man. What trying to be you, bro? You're right. You're right. That's right. So you probably, what trying to be you, bro? Your dad is like a, a so called Negro or African American? Well, I'm just a child of God. That's all. That's but, all I'm child of God. <laughs> but you got to have a nationality. God, You're a Hebrew Israelite. Those are the children of God. The white man is not a child of God. The Asian man is not a child of God. The East Indian man is not a child of God. So you can't just say I'm a child of God because they say that too. They can't yeah. prove it. Yeah. But they say the same thing, man. They about to come talk to us or what? Probably so. Oh, yeah, kind Yeah, man, so, uh, it went down today, bro. It's, it's a lot of folly out here. Here, bring it out, you Sean. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yeah, man, we see all types of abomination. Our brothers and sisters are, are lost in all types of hypocrisy. Lost in all types of wicked philosophy, uh, talking about talking about Muhammad and Allah was was here before the Bible. All types of just all types of just 
false doctrine, man. Our people are indoctrinated and just beat down. Uh, we just, uh, the builders up here, man, just went through something. I just pulled up, but obviously the most I took care of it. Oh. So we, 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 <laughs> we back teaching our people. We back bringing it out. We back out here letting you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know again that you are the true children of Israel. That's right. You are the children that they don't want to know who you are. You are the people who are out there hiding your nationality from. You are the people of the book. You have been given all the promises passed down from Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob. Check it out, huh? Not Abraham, Isaac, to Esau. All right? Esau is not in those promises. Ishmael is not in those promises. All right? So let's let's stop all this damn protesting because what the hell is this going to do? Nothing. At the end of the day, what the hell is these protests going to do? Right? You can express your anger and do the same damn thing back in the 60s and the 50s. But what did it prove? Did we get reparations? Did we get it really true equality? What the hell did we get? All we got was integration, which didn't do a damn thing, but put us in a lesser position. Right? So why the hell are you out here protesting because you want these pecker woods? You want them to treat you equal, like literally? You know they're not going to treat you equal. You're not equal. You are above every nation. Right? And we can prove everything we say with this Bible. You are not equal to Esau or any other nation. So stop begging for equality. God. Stop begging for their forgiveness. And all of this battle that you're doing is not set up the most high. The most high did not tell you to go out there in a protest with a, in the middle of a bunch of Edomites and agents, provocateurs, and, and tear shit up. Where they could where they could come back, they could these agents in, in the middle of those protests, they could take pictures of you, they could record you, and then Esau come back to get you a week later. Right. So if you really want to do something, if you really want to do something that matters, if you really want to fight back against this damn devil, then what you need to do is come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. That's right. Because that's the only thing and that's the only way you're really going to be able to fight a fight that you can win. Okay? You gotta, we gotta use the power of our God to fight for us. And he's not gonna fight for us if we're not following his laws. If we're not following everything that he set down for us to do in the Bible. He's not gonna be with us. He's gonna let us get shot down in the streets. He's gonna let us get a knee on our, on our neck. He's gonna let us perish if we don't do his will. Okay? That is our only mission here on earth, is to do God's will. Okay? Somebody give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. So let me let you know what your whole duty is. Because I don't think you blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics know. I don't think you have a clue. As a matter of fact, I know you don't have a clue what your true mission is. Because if you did, you know exactly what to do when something like this happens. Bring it out, Art. Ecclesiasticus 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Come on, that's right. You see that? The Bible is telling you that your whole duty is to fear God and keep his commandments. All right? It's not to go out here and protest and burn police cars, cop cars, and do all this type of folly that's to no avail. Yeah. Your whole duty is to follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay? So what the hell is everything else about? What is all this other stuff about? It's nothing. It's just a lack of dollars. Because our people are destroyed because they lack biblical knowledge. They lack the wisdom of God. The wisdom of Yahweh. 
the wisdom that the Most High gave to us to use, right? He gave us this wisdom as a guideline, as a way to live. It's life. Oh. And everything else is the way to death, right? So I, I, I'm really not getting why, I'm really not understanding why I'm seeing my people continue to protest when the history of protest gets us nothing. It's stupidity. It's, it's basically, it's the same thing you ever heard of uh, the old saying that, um, I think I said this before, if nothing changes, nothing changes, or really the saying that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. That's exactly what our people are doing. We do the same dumb SHIT over and over again, thinking it's gonna get us somewhere. But you know what we haven't done? We haven't tried to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments in this Bible. That's right. That's what we have not done on a massive scale. So that's what we need to do. All right? That's how you're going to get out of this captivity. That's how you're going to get the white man's knee off your neck. That's how you're going to, you're going to be able to jog in your own neighborhoods and not worry about some damn peck of woods plotting up on you. All right? That's the only way you're going to make it. Come back to God and follow his law, statutes, and commandments. We know, Shalom, we know that you're not saved by works alone. So we're not saying that you're saved by the law alone. Okay? We know that. That's, that's a dummy argument. That's, that's simple. We know that we have grace. You have a grace period to get right, right? Faith and works. Your faith and your works is going to get you there to the kingdom. But a lot of you have faith and no works. And a lot of you have work and no faith. And a lot of you have neither one. And a lot of you have no knowledge and no wisdom according to the Bible. Right? So this is why we are being, we are being made victims and the Most High is letting us be victims to our enemies. Give me uh, Hosea 4 and 6. I always bring this out because our people, it's, it's, we, we think we have knowledge because we got college degrees, we have uh, certifications, we may be making a little money in the world. We think we have, we think we got knowledge because we got certain possessions. We're going to tell you, Shalom, right, Shalom. we're going to tell you that, hey, there's not knowledge, right? That's just the wisdom of the world. That's not true knowledge. All right, so this is why this is why we're lost right here. Hosea four verse six. Check it out. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. That's right. You see the Most High. He forgot. He forgot about us, man. He didn't forget about us, but he just let us, he let us fall into this situation because the your iniquity gets passed down to the third and fourth generation. So our forefathers, you know, they were the first to break the covenant. So we're paying not only for their sins, but our own, right? So our people don't know this. What I just said, most of our people do not know. Why? Because they don't think that this knowledge is important and essential for them to prosper, for them to really keep going and get to all their goals in life. They they think because the most high let them taste a little bit of uh, a little bit of prosperity, make a little bit of money, that they don't need this Bible anymore. But we're here to tell you that no, this is the main thing that you need. The Bible is the main source of information you need for you to make it in this kingdom and, and to prosper to the next kingdom. Right? You're not even going to make it out of this kingdom if you don't have the wisdom of the Bible. Not saying anything against my brothers and sisters who fell to the hands of these wicked police officers, but I guarantee you they did not know the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, and they did not, they were not living by them. Ah. I can guarantee you that. They may have known some things that they learned in church, and they may have been God-fearing to an extent, but I guarantee you, they didn't know these, they weren't living by these laws, statutes, and commandments. If they were, 
the most high would not have let what happened to them happen. Right? You have to be some type of special kind of wicked to be in this truth and the most high let something like that happen to you. You have to be like just backwards. Like you got a lot of these, a lot of these wicked lights, these uh these fake Israelites on Facebook. A lot of you guys that, that that might happen to you, to be honest. Because, I mean, I'm just so sick of all this false doctrine and all this hate uh, that comes from, obviously it seems to be these unlearned Israelites who've just been in the truth maybe a year or a few months. Because they're still, they're still speaking Yiddish. Their names are Yisrael, Israel. They, they, they haven't even gotten to the Paleo Hebrew yet. Okay, yeah, we understand that everybody has levels to get to go through to get to a certain level of wisdom. But you guys shouldn't be saying anything if you have no knowledge yet. You shouldn't be on Facebook <coughs> going back and forth with brothers or hating on your own brother, brothers talking about something that you know nothing about. Talking about brothers um, <coughs> sleeping with underage kids or just all these type of false rumors. These false rumors and false doctrines, brother. Come on now. A lot of you fake Israelites or you, you uh, what I call looking lights <laughs> you, uh, you ignorant, ignorant lights. I like to say ignorant, not ignorant, ignorant. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all, I'm make up a new name for y'all. Y'all are not Hebrew Israelites. Y'all are Hebrew ignorant lights. Real talk. Because nothing nothing that comes out of your mouth even makes sense. Get under some elders. What I, what I, what I, what I, would, what I, would, what I would tell you to do is get under some elders who've been doing this for years and get the real breakdown of the scripture. Ah. Stop camp hating. Stop hating on the people that brought you the doctrine in the first place. Stop being mad at brothers because they got uh, 40,000 viewers on their YouTube and you got 10. Come on, stop being carnal. That's stupid. Uh, Give me that precept. Uh, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 4. Ah, sinful nation of people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. Children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. They are gone away backwards. And here's the real one. Verse 5. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. That's right. You see, the Most High already knows what your characteristics are. These are all the characteristics of these scoffers who are supposed to be in the truth. The most I already, already know is, man, like, you know, your spirit was here before, right? So a lot of you, even though I'm talking to you right now, and we're bringing out these scriptures, trying to show you your wickedness, at the end of the day, your spirit was probably put here to actually try to cause, um, you know, try to cause dissension. Your spirit is of, of the same people who was, a, the same brothers and sisters who were supposedly Israelites who sent Christ to the cross. Uh, right? You're a Pharisee. We understand these things. So, some of you actually are not Pharisees. You're just being persuaded by brothers who are Pharisees who are telling you, hey, this camp right there is wicked. That uh, brother right there is wicked. And some of you are not even talking to brothers who even know these brothers who they're talking about. You just believe in anything, they don't have first-hand information. Come on, Israel, we got to stop doing that. It's not the time for division right now. Okay? It's not the time for division right now. So, I don't care if your last name, if you call yourself Israel, Israel, Yasharala, all of these names, most of the, most of the names I just said are the ones on the comment board scoffing. I don't care what you call yourself. Get yourself deeper into this Bible. Get that lukewarmness off of you. Right? Somebody give me the lukewarm scripture. Because that's exactly what's wrong. You guys are lukewarm. You're not hot. You're, you're not even, some of you are not even lukewarm. You're cold. I mean, you're freezing like you just jumped out of the freezer. You know what I'm saying? You just jumped out of a Ziploc bag. So, you know, we're not out here to, to really address you, um, you ignorant lights, but is that too much I'm seeing on, on, on social media? Election 316. With our people who are um, who are leading 
the newer brothers and sisters are straight. See, we got newer brothers and sisters who just came into the truth a month ago, two months ago, and they don't really know the exact thing to follow. And there's people like you who are throwing their understanding of There's people like you that are of the devil. You know what I mean? You're, you're, throwing, you're throwing the understanding of your own brothers and sisters off. You got you to gotta stop that, man. You got to stop that. You got to precept. Revelation chapter 3, verse 16. 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. That's right. See, the most I said, because you're lukewarm, you're not hot. You're not on fire for the Lord, man. Because you're lukewarm, he shall spit you out. What does that mean? <coughs> that means you're not getting into those gates, man. Oh. You're lukewarm, man. You're not getting into those gates. You better get some fire under you. You better get some, you better get some heat. You better get some strength about yourself and gird up your lungs, man. Oh. And stop trying to go against your own brothers. All right, we all got a mission in a, we all know our mission and our purpose. So what the hell is the division about, right? The Most High is going to set, the High is going to set all this straight when he returns anyway. Ah. So just get on the right side. Get on the right side of your brothers and, and do the work. A lot of you guys are not doing the work either. Peace out. This is uh, Leviticus 19 and 16. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Come on, come on. You see? We will preach about Because that's exactly what a lot of you ignorant lights are doing. You ignorant lights are going up and down to and fro talebearing. Oh. Did you know you're breaking the commandment? Did you know that you're bearing false witness? You're breaking one of the Ten Commandments when you bear false witness. So you don't, if you don't have any, if you don't have first-hand information, brother, I mean, I would implore you to not try to bring that out. Stop trying to slander your brothers and sisters because of jealousy, envy, and hate. You should not even have that in your heart anyway. You should not have, okay, you should not have hate in your heart for your own brothers and sisters. Somebody give me the scripture. Um, should not hate thy brother in thy own heart. Okay. So yeah, you literally, you brothers literally hate your own brother in your own heart. Ah. And that's the reason why no matter what your brother says or does, you're gonna find something wrong with it. Nah, man, it's not time for that. It's not. You see what you see what's going going on in the world? We're on the cusp of Jacob's trouble. This is the beginning of Jacob's trouble, and you Negroes want to fight over doctrine. You want to, you still want to slander brothers. Like, and, and most of, what's worse is most of you are not doing none of the work. Most of you guys who are doing all that, you sitting behind a damn keyboard. You never came out on on, that, on any corner and stood on any line or brought anything out to the public or to people. Period. You, you might make a few posts and put up a few memes. Okay, that's fine. But why are you hating on the brothers that are out here putting their life on the line? Ah. Literally putting their life on the line two or three times a week to wake up being lit. Why? It's because something's not wrong with your spirit, bro. And, and I'm starting to think, honestly, I'm starting to think that the spirit is not even dealing with some of you. I'm starting to think that it's Edomites behind some of those pages. And I'm starting to think that it's agents, it's agent um, uh, so-called black black people behind those pages, and all of that. So bring it out. This is uh, Leviticus 19:17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him. That's right. So you should not hate your brother in your own heart, and just like I'm doing right now, you shall rebuke your neighbor. Who's your neighbor? Your brother. So I'm rebuking all you Eden lights. That's exactly what I'm doing. You wicked lights. I'm rebuking you because you have hate for your own brothers in your own heart. And you, and you show it. Every single time you scoff and you bring out, try to bring out different doctrine, 
instead of just letting brothers do their thing. Right? right. Let brothers do their thing. We let, we let, even if we know your, your doctrine is off, we don't jump on your page saying all this different. We just let brothers do their thing because we know the higher side is going to clean it all up when he returns. Ah. And that's really, that's really all we can do when it comes to that at this, this point in time. We got bigger missions, bro. We got, we got bigger fists to fight, bro. We got really, really more pressing things to, to put our attention on, oh. to, 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 bring the, to bring the light, to bring out, all right? So, you know, I really hate what's happened to our brother in Georgia, our brother Ahmaud Arbery, and uh, the recent killing of the brother George Floyd. But if you really, if you really want to do something about it, get on this, this side of the Most High and come back to follow his laws, statutes, and commandments, and he will fight with you. God. And not only will he fight with you, he will fight for you. That's right. You don't have to get out there, and you don't have to burn down buildings, catch charges, catch rubber bullets from police officers, um, get slammed on the ground, and get dragged around. You don't have to do that. God. All of that protesting is for not. It's for nothing. The only thing you need to do is come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. That's right. Follow them and do them, and you will be okay. Right. You will be fine. But all this other folly, let that go. Understand your history. We've done this. We've already done this a million times. It does not work. Okay? So try something that does work. Try something different. Protesting does not work. And with that, I just want to say all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh and the Son of Yahweh Shah. And I want to say shalom to all the brothers doing all the work around all of the four corners of the earth. And I, and, and, and I really just want to end this with death to Esau and all the nations that oppress the children of Israel. Oh. Oh. Shalom. Shalom. I'm going to bring up the next dynamic speaker, Rob Judah. Come! I was a powerful speak, brother was he spoke mighty to spirit. So like the brother said, we gotta come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. Cause nobody got our backs but us. That's right. We had a scourge right here. The brother was bogged out. We tried to tell him to leave. He was talking about Jesus Christ as an Egyptian. He is Jesus Christ. He's the son of Jesus Christ. Israelites are wicked with false prophets. But he didn't, out, he didn't bring out one precept, did he, Isaiah? He didn't bring out one precept. So we're not all here on our vain opinion. It's thus said the Lord. That's right. In the midst of this pandemic, Esau is still killing you. Good. Right. And you want to fight us. Because we tell you to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. We just had a brother choked out with an MA move that you see on, uh, on um, uh, what's that? The, UFC. The fighters, UFC. Yeah. We just saw a brother pass away with a UFC move over a thick $20 bill. And you want to come find out the men of the Lord. That's right. What's wrong with you guys, Israel? What is wrong with you guys? We're burning down buildings. We're saying just no justice, no peace. How long have we been doing that same song and dance? Since the goddamn 60s. And nothing has changed. You're still living in the ghetto. You're still at the bottom of society. And you guys think that because you knocked out a cop on his ass, they hear you come back ten times full and kill your ass. That's right. Here's what we gotta get it together. And we had this bucked out Jake talking about he's a Muslim. Or what was he saying? He was a Muslim or I, 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 I uh, some some right. bugged out stuff. Somebody give me uh, Isaiah one and three. Isaiah one and three, please. Our people is burnt up for the lack of knowledge. 
He said he a movie is or something like some crap like that. Yeah. But his book doesn't come with any prophecies. This book told us that he's gonna go to slavery. This book told us we're gonna be in a violent society. Go ahead, bring it out. Bring that precept out. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel, but, he, but Israel, but, he, but Israel does not know. My people does not consider. There you go right there. The most high know that you guys don't know who you are. You call yourself all these other doctrines. I can't hear you, brother. The wind is blowing. Go ahead, get, get out of the seat. Get that precept where it says, uh, uh, the precept where they said they'll be bugged out, uh, um, uh, just living with madness. We got this all kind of uh, people madness. These are the curses of Deuteronomy 28. We just got bugged out people today. At least Ham, at least she was honest. She said, oh yeah, you're not my people. I can go back to my country. You heard what she said? The what the purple on? I said, you, you call us a, a kata, don't you? She said, yes, we do. At least she was honest. At least she know who she is. But Israel do not know who they are. You know, we got this bugged, we got this bugged out, bugged out Jake right here with a mask. I think it's a real coronavirus out here. That coronavirus is a sham. It's to bail out the banks and other high ranking businesses. And he's walking around with a, with a mask on. This is where I travel with our people. We have a lack of knowledge and understanding. We want to fight each other. We want to cuss you like you, like you better said, we got these wicked lights. As I call them, keyboard warrior lights. Uh. We got brothers still today want to cut each other. I'm going to cut up with this scripture. I'm going to cut up with Hosea, chapter, 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 saying that we, it's, it's no Mexicans and it, 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 it's Israelites, or no Native Americans is Israelites, or Negro tribe. When did when, when, when you say in the, in the Bible that we're supposed to be arguing about fruitless things? And we're supposed to be keeping the law, statutes, and the commandments of the Bible? Why are we worried about who's an Israelite and who's not an Israelite? Esau is your goddamn enemy. Moab is your goddamn enemy. The League of Nations is your enemy. Why are we worried about who's an Israelite right now? Isn't that up to the Most High and the angels to determine that? We're supposed to be not gay saying. But you guys want likes and views and comments. That's all you guys are doing it for. Because there's no edification saying who's an Israelite and who's not an Israelite. But you guys keep on continuing with it. And we got brothers that's been in the truth for a long time that's an elder getting into these doctrines. 50 years plus. My senior. But they want those likes and views and comments and notoriety. Instead of keeping these commandments and raising up young lions in the truth. But everybody want to be a gay sayer. Yeah, give me uh, yeah, that precept. Deuteronomy 28, verse 28. Bring it out. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and an astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. No man shall save thee. So what is that brother right here? Madness. What a brother across the street? Madness. We had to have the we had to have the blood ties removed. And we we don't even use we usually deal with Esau's uh police department. Uh. But this is what we gotta deal with in this society. Because you guys are not hugging to this word. You guys are making your own doctrine up. You guys are not keeping the commandment. On the midst of Officer, I uh, mean, uh, the officer that killed, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Floyd, uh, Floyd, George, uh, George, yeah, George, George Floyd. You guys want to argue and fight?
check one, check one, okay. Like I was saying, Slacky on that. In the midst of everything, you guys still want to fight us. And we're not your enemy. We love you. We love our African Americans. We love our Jacob Bacons. We love all, we know that you scatter across all four continents of the world. Like the most high said. But we bug, you guys are bugged out. You got a precept, anybody got a precept? Go ahead, bring it out. This is going back to what the brother was saying about um, the even elders going off into other doctrines. It's, it's because they, they, they start studying too much going into other things. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 12. And further, by these, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end. It's, it's, it's out. I'm about to charge it. And must study its weariness of the flesh. Read again, up. You want to plug it in somewhere? No, no, no. Uh, I don't have the battery pack for it. Uh, really? I, I just have to uh, charge it when I get to my house. All right, one more time. It's the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished. Of making many books, there's no end. And much study is a weariness of the flesh. Ah, that's it. Right. Yeah. So yeah, we already know that it was judgment for the most high for Fred, uh, for uh, Fred uh, Floyd Croy, was it Floyd, was Floyd, 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 George Floyd, 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 Floyd. and uh, Ahmad Aubrey. We know it. We know it. We know it's uh, somebody give me uh, thirty-two and thirty-nine. We know that God is God's judgment. But it should not happen if you if they was keeping the law and statutes and commandments. If they was keeping the law and statutes and commandments, they would have had angels around them protecting them. Huh. It's like we had angels protecting us when that fool was throwing rocks at us. Judgment of the Most High, just that quick. Remember I said Isaiah? <laughs> that was judgment, just that quick. Judgment of the Most High. Real swim. Yeah. And they we didn't, had to lay a figure on the brother. They didn't, lock, didn't, they didn't lock him up, though. They didn't take him uh, to jail. I saw him yeah. walking down the street. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's how they gonna put him in the same or something. You know, now, I, I, at least at least he'll think about if he if, if, if he's right wrapped up tight up there. You know what I mean? Which he's probably not. Yeah. Probably bugged out all kind of drugs. Yeah. But we we out here for you guys, Israel. You guys gotta start following these laws, statutes, and commandments. And this is not a white man's book. That's right. I'm tired of hearing that. Fine. This is your history. You guys give the white man too much goddamn credit. That's right. This is your book, your history, your forefathers. You guys have seen like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you want to go further in the back, Shem. Adam was the first man. Was a black man. That's right. God already chose us in the womb. That Esau is a goddamn lie. That's right. He's a father of lies. Give me that in John uh, 44 and 8. Yeah. Oh, you got to Okay, go ahead. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. Ah. I kill. And I make a lie. What does he do? I kill and I make a lie. So what did he do to uh, uh, George Floyd? I kill and I make a lie. What did he do to Ahmaud Aubrey? I, I kill, kill and I make a lie. So that's judgment of the most high. That's right. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So all you guys, look at that Kobe Bryant. That was judgment of the most high. Right. And all you Israelites that don't like it, I don't give a damn. God. I see Israelites talking about, oh, you Westerners are too rough. You guys, who are you guys to judge? This is the most high judgment. That's right. It's right there in the scriptures right there. And half you guys would know you guys was Israelites if one West didn't bring it out. That's right. You guys would still be stuck in this Christian church talking about one West. Cut it out. 
We're not here for no games. We don't have time to be talking about stuff like that. We gotta follow these laws, central commandments, and get on those ships. That's right. But the most high said he only wants one third. He's not here for no folly. You guys gotta get together, Israel. Protesting, burning up your old community, it's not gonna get you to the kingdom of heaven. Because uh. you have the bottom society. You guys can't buy a house without Esau's approval. You guys can't go to school without Esau approval. You guys can't get a, a, a bank loan for a car without Esau approval. Hell, you can't even get food. Get this, uh, that scripture, uh, we're going to tell you these for the one of all things. Food, drink, clothes. We're going to be our enemy for the one of all things. Get it together, Israel. Start reading your Bible. I know it's hard. I work eight hours, 12 hours a day. I deal with my kids. Try to, you know, if you have time to watch Love and Hip Hop on the NBA Finals or whatever, on the, what's, that, what's that shit that everybody uh, talking about, that Michael Jordan, uh, that, uh, last the last dance. You guys have time to watch the last dance and Michael Jordan don't give a damn about Israelites. Good. He worried about what Michael Jordan achieved that there 30 years ago. <laughs> you watch it all with e ESP and shit. Follow this Bible, man. Read the precept here and there. You got time. Put the Xbox controller down. Put the PlayStation controller down. Yeah. That's right. Because all you're going to do is uh, get to an uh, altercation with a, a white supremacist on those games. As soon as you beat them in an NBA 2K, or NFL, they'll call you a nigger. <laughs> you know that? They gonna wanna bring their neck, but you can't because you don't know where they at. God. They'll be calling you all kind of porch monkeys. Because we created everything. Even in video games. Because we God chose the people. You got the free time? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, ah. which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst, and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until he you shall you put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Okay, does those Muslims got in their, in their, talk, their doctrine? He said that the Bible was false. So how is the Bible false when it's giving you a future prophecy that's going to happen to the children of Israel? Does the Quran got that in there? Until he have destroyed thee. Until he destroyed thee. That's a future prophecy of the children of Israel. We went off. That's right. We've been in how many captivities already? Seven. We've been in seven captivities. We're hard-headed stiff that people. But he still chose us. He still got a favor. Five. Five. Like Isaiah say, it's like those favorite shoes in your closet. Like, ooh, I'm gonna kill him with that one. We are still God's apple, uh, apple in God's eye. That's right. The reason why He's judging us because we're not following His statute laws and commandments. Somebody go ahead, and give me uh, Isaiah 45 and seven. Wow. Isaiah 45 and seven, please. The God, God, you gotta understand. God is not all good. It's a balance. You got angels on the left, and you got angels on the right. If you guys are going on, he's gonna send those angels on the left on after you. Good. Right. Stop thinking that Satan have power over the most high. Satan ain't nothing but a, 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 a employee of the most high. That's right. Uh. He don't run nothing. He takes over, he's like, yes sir, no sir. Uh. And we can prove that in the book of Job when he uh, said the uh, angel, I don't know what verse it is. I do it, Okay. Alright? Yeah, you get that one with uh Satan uh, the most high told uh, destroy Job's uh, house and all of that. Oh. So Satan is uh nothing but a vessel. A death angel. You guys stop reading all these bugged out dodges like the book of Edom. Uh, Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. I form the light. You form the light and create darkness. Create darkness. I make peace. Make peace. And create evil. And create evil. So the most high, he creates evil as well. Right. Huh. 
So you guys stop missing these Christian shirts saying that God's all, all good. All that white image of Cesar Borgia. God is a black man. Come on. Jesus Christ is a black man that you're Howard shot. You guys stop listening to these false doctrines out here. God is good and evil. You go off, you almost break his commandments, you don't send the death angels on you. It's quite as simple. Uh, you got that precept? No, with the, uh, yeah, the one uh, with uh, um, the most high, the most, the most high told, uh, say to uh, mess with Joe to prove his loyalty to the most high. Okay. The book of Job, chapter 1, verse 7. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord, Yahweh, and said, From going, to and fro in the earth. Now, now if Satan was his own entity, what do you, what do you tell him? Well, Simon, it's none of your business, man. I'm doing me, you doing you. He's answering God in a humble way to and from the world. Swear. From going to and fro in the earth and walking up and down it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant so? That there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and ensueth evil. So he's right now he's dispatching Satan to go mess with Job. Then Satan answered the Lord Yahweh and said, Doth Job fear God for not? Has not thou made our heads about him? and about his house and about all the that he had on every side thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land but put forth thy hand and touch all that he had and he will curse thee to thy face and the Lord said unto Satan behold all that he had is in thy power only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of Yahweh. So right there he's telling, he basically told uh, jo, uh, Satan not to kill him. Now if Satan was his own power, he said, you know what, forget the Most High, I'm going to and kill him. So we know that Satan works for the Most High. That's right. That's his death angel. Okay, God, Psalm God. 78, verse 49. He cast upon them the fire, the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. What? what? City who? By sending evil angels. Evil angels. Among them. He made a way to his anger. He spared not their soul from death, but gave their life over to the pestilence. Ah. So he has evil angels on the left side. That's right. Yahweh Shai and, and God is not the same person, like this book that Jake said. Yahweh is the father. Yahweh Shai was the son. Matter of fact, Yahweh Shai was the first soul that God created. So you guys, they're not the same thing. He's sitting on the right side of, of the Most High. So, when things happen, it's of the, the most high. You guys gotta understand this. Right. We don't serve, we don't serve a bubbling God. Like, who, who, what's going on? I didn't, I didn't tell, wait, no. Like, like that Homer Simpson say, no. I didn't tell you to do that, Tate, no. We don't serve a, a, a bubbling God. And, you know, he just fetch orders, he's the most high. The most high don't do nothing. He just give out orders, like the pause of the job. That's right. Like he knows the, the chain of command of the job. It's the C it's the CEO, the CEO, the supervisor, and then it's you the employee. Right. The most high is the CEO. He don't lift a finger. He tells the angels on the left and the right what to do. And they do it. That's right. So you coons that's uh on this on, on these networks. Talk about there's no God. Talking about it's a false religion. 
Your life's gonna get destroyed by the most high, man. That's right. It's because you got luxuries in the world. All those things will fade. Uh, matter of fact, somebody give me uh, I got a perfect uh, preset for you, cools. Give me Proverbs 17 and 15. The most high don't like cools, man. You cooties that gonna get you the key to heaven. You having the Mercedes Benz that gonna get you the key to heaven. You having the Escalade or 26s with three subwoofers that gonna get you to heaven. Right. You having a big old house in Malibu or Palos Verdes or wherever those most rich people live at. It's not gonna get you the key to heaven. Your wealth, your gold, your silver, it's not gonna get you the key to heaven. For all these laws, the commandments, it's gonna get you there. It's right. those chariots. Right. right. Because it's coming for the elect. And you better hope it's you. That's right. Or you're going to be parents in nuclear fire. The most high ain't playing, man. Like I say, it's saying, most high ain't coming with, uh, well, well, with cookies and, and puppies, man. <laughs> and flowers. And flowers. Yeah. He's a man of war. That's right. right. He's coming with the sword. That's right. What does the sword do? It destroys. Bible says his blood is going to be filled with red all the way to his garment. It's going to be by all in the street. You see all this stuff that's going on with the police? That's nothing. Wait till the, the war, the uh, the witch war pop off. All you coos is getting destroyed anyways. I'm that's loving right. it. Stacy Dash, she got kicked out of her house by her white uh, lover. Um, Holly Berry, she got arrested. All these clues is going down, man. Because Esau's wicked. The most high is punishing these clues because Esau is a vile race. The most high made him that way. That's right. You cannot hold the wickedness out of Esau. You can't get with him, hold a hand, and go, we shall overcome. That's not going to work. What's that precept says? This is how I put this. This is how I put this. Yeah, precept. You got a precept? Yeah. So this man is, is, is vile and evil. And he's vile and, he, and he's sick. There's no reasoning with this man. I don't care how many titles he has. I don't care if he sits on the board of directors. Or the, or the Chamber of Congress, or the Congress, or even the President. Or, 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 they're all vile people. That's right. They're against the children of Israel. There's nothing you're going to do about it. They're going to destroy you eventually. What did Donald Trump do to uh, that coup that was in the White House? What's her name? Uh, the one that was on the show, the Prentice, whatever. Uh, Omarosa. He threw Omarosa out of the White House. Uh. So as he, he used her, he fired her ass. It wasn't, even, it wasn't even two years that he fired her. All that cootie she was doing. All right. You got that, uh, Proverbs? Yeah, yeah. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 15. He that justifies the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to Yahweh. See, there you go. That's what cools do. Uh, they justify the wicked. Uh, but the both sides say it's an abomination to the God. Uh, so cool they ain't gonna help you. That's the right. both sides think that's an abomination. Because we're the just people. That's right. Ecclesiasticus 12 verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like that iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Like iron what? Like iron rusted. So is his wickedness. Like iron rust is so is his wickedness. The most high is guaranteed he's gonna do something wicked to you. Huh. It's an old it's an old saying that uh, a woman found a snake, nursed it back to life, fed it, nursed it, uh, healed his wounds, and then two days later the snake bit her. And she told the snake, why did you do that? Bitch, you knew I was a snake. <laughs> That's Esau. <laughs> Bitch, you knew I was a snake.
These people are snakes. They're vile people. There's no reasoning with these people. Yeah, go ahead, get a precept. It's like my favorite movie, uh, my movie uh, Terminator, where he was uh, telling Sarah Connor uh, in a car. There's no, uh, there's no reasoning with these machines. There's no, uh, no bargaining with these machines. They will kill you. He saw the Terminator. Right. I'm gonna put that clip in the thing. He saw where Reese is telling Sarah Connor. There's no reason with these machines. There's no reason with Esau. Right. It's gonna kill you. <laughs> Are you gonna uh, you gonna have you at the bottom? Are you gonna do something fucked up and you gonna have you in prison? That's right. All these prisons, let me tell you why all these prisons are around. To keep Esau employed. Right. Esau is getting paid off of your off of your kids. That's off right. of your your ancestors. <laughs> Those prisons, those are bailiffs, uh, sergeants, uh, uh, the food, uh, the one that, that deals with food, all these countries to, to give them food and CEOs and uh, nurses. nurses, they all employ Esau. If you don't have no bodies in prison, there's no funding. That's why they come with these laws to keep you in prison. Bring it out, huh? It's a profit to keep Esau employed off your back. So how could you love it? And definitely how could you bury these foul people? Uh. Esau smell like goddamn dog when he got out the shower. Bring it out. Right. I don't understand how you can lay with them. It's the book of Ecclesiastes. It's a locket. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Ah. <laughs> Go ahead. Or any such as come nigh wild beasts. That's right. Who will pity a charmer? So if you keep on messing with Esau, you'll get bit. Uh. Remember to Stacy, Stacy Dad, she got bit. The, the, uh, her either my boyfriend called the police on her and she went to jail. Shalom. Shalom. What happened to Stacey De uh, uh, Holly Berry? She been divorced and now she got to pay alimony to her e her, her e my uh, husband. Go ahead. Salakia, also the sister from uh, the Jamie Foxx show, uh, Fancy. Fancy, yeah, okay. So she married an Edomite. Uh huh. And she's also on like Real Housewives of like uh, Beverly Hills. Uh huh. None but Edomites in her. Uh huh. Her her white Edomite boyfriend cheated on her. That's and, right. Kicked her out and all this stuff. Of course, too. Yeah. that's his nature. I guess who's gonna be next? I can't wait. That bitch, uh, 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 Serena Williams. God, uh, she gonna be next. God, because uh, her her husband run that racist website, uh, Reddit. Reddit. God, because they people call us all kind of niggas and porch monkeys and stuff like. And this is who you bury. Also, it's a sister. She a rapper called Doja Cat. Uh huh. I just found out she don't like no black people. Uh huh. Good, she only good. date white men and stuff, man. That's right. Esau is always going. Esau is always going to stick you in the back. Right, right, come. Uh, you got a precept? Oh, okay, I thought you had a precept. So these people. Ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we. Uh, you want to close it out? I close it out. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll say a couple more things. So you guys can't trust your enemy. All right. The Most High. This is why we know this is our book. This is why we know this is the living word of God. And everything that is prophecy that came true already. He said, if we didn't hawk off to the, the, the Lord, thy God would be cast into bondage. He told us that. He also said that he, uh, you'll be sold to your enemy because you made the God into wrath. Because we worship other gods. Right. Right. So how can we be Egyptians, man? This is a, it, it, uh, these Egyptian uh, e Egyptology have any, yeah, do they have any prophecy that came true? No, they just look at the moon and have theories. Yeah, they look, at, they look at the moon and all this and talking about this and that, but they don't have any prophecy. Uh, right. And if you go to Africa, they'll laugh you out there if you try to act like you go bring their, that, that eager, that, that's only a North America doctrine. Right. 
You can't bring that doctrine over there in Africa. They don't have no laws either. They can just do whatever. Those people have already know you ain't gonna be one. They'll run up with you with an AK and say, what? Get out of here, Akata. <laughs> Come on. These people are our people. Look at this father. He was going there off for no damn reason. No damn reason. Follow. We stand in line for donuts. These sweet ass donuts that's not good for you. <laughs> What's wrong with our people out here? Teach. You got you got a, you got a precept? Okay. You got a precept? Alright, well I'm Rob Judah, that's my time. I'm gonna bring out the other speaker. Um, I do I do five minutes. Okay, you want to do five minutes. Cut, cut. All right, we do five minutes because we got to go to our... Hey, real quick, though, I want to get this because I never noticed this. This is called Freedom Square out here. Look at this sign, man. Freedom Square. Freedom Square. <laughs> Ain't nobody out here but them people who are in slavery. Exactly. Ah. <laughs> every, street, every street in Martin Luther King is always uh, violence on that street. God. In America. Oh, uh, yeah, for real. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, uh, yeah, bring it out five minutes. Yeah, I'm just And then Isaiah will close it out. Because uh -huh. we gotta go to the feast day because the That's box right. that he wanted to be here at seven. I gotta call in my food. Hey, 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 thanks. Hey, thanks, uh, Rob Judah. Oh, are you going, are you cooking the feast day? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Rob Judah. He was bringing it out. Uh, I want to talk about our enemy. A lot of y'all don't know that Esau is our enemy. Y'all don't know who, who Esau is. That's right. So, first off, uh, let's go. What's that? What's that scripture? The one that was born? There's a scripture in the Bible that talks about they were hated before they were born. Now, Malachi 1 and 4. Malachi 1 and 4. I'm about to tell y'all who Esau is. First of all, Esau was created. There was two nations in that world. And before he was born, God hated a certain nation of people. You got that? Keep, bring it out. You got, you got Malachi? Bring it out. Yeah, I said Romans. Romans? Or Malachi first. But yeah, have that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, what I'm trying to explain to y'all is that there was a nation of people that was hated before they were born. What? Give me that in Malachi. Malachi chapter 1 verse 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. Y'all see y'all hear that? He loved Jacob and hated Esau. Right. Before he was born, read. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for so, the dragons of the wilderness. So he cursed everything that they they did. He cursed it. If they tried to build anything, he cursed it. He destroyed it. Read. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. This is God telling you that no matter what Esau do, he gonna throw it down. Now give me that uh that Romans nine. It's the Book of Romans chapter nine, verse eleven. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. Y'all hear that? Before they were born, they done they didn't do any evil, nothing wicked. Before they were born, read. That the purpose of God, according to the election, might stand not of works, but of him that he called it. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Before he was born, the elder should serve the younger. Read. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Come. Y'all hear that? So God hated a certain nation of people 
before they were born. Right. Now, uh, give me that, uh, give me that, uh, Ezekiel 35, 5. 30, Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Yeah. Now, they already know, they already hate it, and I think they know that. The least that run this country know that this Bible condemns them. So you can't say this is a white man's book. Because it, it condemns the white man. That's right. It talks it about the destruction of the Mike white man. Ah. Right. You get what I'm saying? So read give me that, give me that uh Ezekiel. Ezekiel 35 verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and have shed the blood of the children of Israel. Y'all hear that? Thou has had a perpetual hatred. All through my life, they've been killing black people on the street. They get pulled up, pulled over, and killed. And you would think that, wow, they would come to some kind of conclusion and, and want to be nice and want to treat us better. No. Read that again. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. By the force of the sword. Read. In the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Right, 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 right. Give me that Psalms 139.22. Then I'm going to bring my brother Isaiah up. What's up, King? How you doing, King? Give me headphones. You got this song? 139, 22? Yeah. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 22. I hate them with a perfect hatred. God said he hate them with what? With a perfect hatred. Read. I count them my enemies. God said he count them his enemies. Now, I just went over who God hated. Those two scriptures. Read that again. They don't, I don't think they understand what that means. Read it again. I hate them with a perfect hatred. Y'all hear that? God do hate. Wow. That's what I just read. I read that. That's it. For all you Christians that don't think God hate, read that again. You know? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them my enemy. Ah. Y'all hear that? Read. I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them my enemy. Keep going. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Y'all hear that? I'm done. Hey, so now y'all know who Esau is. Esau is the devil manifested in white man's flesh. Right. When y'all see white people, that's their people. I I didn't I didn't believe it when I first when I first got this word, honestly, I thought God loved everybody. That's right. Boy. I had to look in the Bible and say, wow, God hates people. Wow, this is this is the truth. God, God hates people. But as you can see, with the chemtrails, the prisons, the vaccinations, and all of the wickedness, the bombs, you can see who the devil's people are. I'm done. Hey. Rob Judah. Yeah, Todd. Thank you, sir. We can bring on our next guy. Uh, Isaiah. Isaiah. He's about to close this out. Go uh, ahead, man. Uh, my brother, man. Uh, Coming up in this truth. Man. That's right. Getting, getting better and better, man. Getting his speaking voices here. Yeah, yeah, man. That's right. <laughs> God. Uh, Jam, grab me uh, Luke 21. 
Right. Exactly. How you make one person, uh, one race of people that get hurt by the sun, man? That's a not, natural not only that, thing. Cut on some music. You see who got it? Cut on some music. <laughs> Hey man, so we about to close it out. We about to shut it down out right here. We got first fruits tonight, but before we go, man, we got a couple precepts. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Verse 37 through 39. But as the days of Noah were, right. so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. It says, as the days of Noah were, so shall the Son of Man be. What was they doing with Noah, man? He told them it's going to be a flood. He told them it's going to be, uh, the, the world going to get destroyed by water. Right. And what did they do, man? They laughed at him. They ignored him. Right. They uh, cut their music louder in their cars. They ignored these brothers out here on the corners telling you it's just like the days of Noah. Put your blood up, man. That's right. Put that thing out, bro. We're trying to warn you like the days of Noah. He going to turn up his music louder. That's right. Hey, man, you can't make this stuff up like yeah. the elders of Box A. We just now reading it, and the brother turned his music up, man. It said, just like in the days of Noah, so shall the son of man be. Go ahead. For as in the days that were before the flood, right. they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving marriage. They were eating and drinking. Shalom. Marrying and giving marriage, man. Hey, somebody grab me. Hey, drop that. Grab me token for as well. Sister, get out. Get out, sister. Oh, that's your enemy? <laughs> yes. According to the Bible, that's your enemy. Do you know that? The Bible says, All right. Prove it to me. You want me to prove it? Prove it to me, then you gotta get off the corner if you can't prove it. Hey, do you want me to prove it? Prove it to me, then you can't prove it to me. Get off this corner. All right, perfect. Grab me uh, Tobin 4 and 12. Grab me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Hey, you gotta stay here. Hey, you don't want to get this You want me to prove it? Hey, are we, can we prove it? I'm gonna stay here and let us prove it, sir. He's not gonna let us prove it. Cause I got two precepts on you. Grab me, get, grab me Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Hey, he the devil. Hey, he the devil. Hold up. I got you right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hey. Hey, hey, Rob, 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 Rob. Rob. Everybody hold your peace. Hold on, listen, listen. Hey, go ahead. Good, good. The devil flee The wicked flee will not pursue it. The hey, you a damn devil and you going in slavery. That's the wicked right. flee will not pursue it. He didn't want to hear it. He got him a bad witch. Stop being a bad witch. Don't be a bad witch to Esau. Jump off that. We got these bad witches. 21 verse 26. Right. Men's heart fail in them for fear. For fear, man. Men's hearts are in fear right now. Why? Because you got everything going on. You got coronavirus. You got brothers getting jog, uh, jogging, getting shot. Brothers doing, uh, like Rob say, MMA moves on them by the hands of the white man. Brothers is in fear. Go ahead. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Right. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The powers of heaven shall be shaken, man. That's right. Let me tell y'all something, man. Y'all look this little society y'all got going on here that y'all love, it's all crumbling. That's right. It's getting turned upside down, man. Right? The little the ways that you thought was uh, with God, you found it out God don't like it, man. That's right. You find it out God don't like when you eat pork. You find it out God don't like when you eat shellfish. Finding out that you were not a black man, you a Hebrew Israelite. That's right. You're finding out these things in the Bible, man. I'm on this side, man. right? Hey, 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 hey. Address the speaker right here. Come on, over you want to talk? Just talk to the speaker right here, brother. How you doing, kid? Yeah. Come on, hey, hold, hold it down. Yeah, hold it down. Hold it down. And then shall they see the Son of Man? They gonna see the Son of Man, right? He's a black man. The Son of Man, the one you call Christ, he ain't no white boy. That's right. The Son of Man, the one you call Christ, he's the one that you would call nowadays a Negro. That's right. right. A nigger. By words. Right? A coon. 
a damn uh uh what they used to call colored. Colored, uh. Huh? That's who that damn yo Jesus is, man. It ain't no little white boy. Keep going. Coming in a cloud with the power and great glory. Hey man, let me tell you something. That cloud is a UFO, man. That's right. He gonna be coming in a UFO chariot. That's why it says that our salvation will be a uh, 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 side up. Uh, yeah. Get the chariots, man. Coming in the chariots. That's why it says that to the chariots fly. They gonna uh, uh, they're gonna be astonished at the strangeness of our salvation. Come. What does that mean, man? That there's gonna be a UFO picking up blacks and Hispanics, man. Come. The people that y'all thought was on the bottom of society. Come. The that y'all thought was niggas and spicks. Come, bring it's it out. It's gonna be strange when you see a UFO picking up those specific people. Come, Come. bring it out, Rob. What did our ancestors used to say in the cotton field? Swing, swing low, low swing share. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, uh, I got an uh, uh, announcement, man. I just recorded three songs, but I'm getting back into the music. Come. One of the songs I did is about the chariots coming to pick us up, man. That's right. So I had that ready soon, man. I had that ready soon. So keep going up. And when these things begin to come to pass. And he, when these things begin to come to pass like they're doing now, go ahead. Then look up. And look up. And lift up your head. Right. For your redemption draweth not. For what? Your redemption draweth not. One more time. And when these things begin to come to pass. Hey, uh, hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, I want your family to hear this one precept, alright? Alright, go ahead. Read it again. And when these things begin to come to pass. And when all these things begin to come to pass, how the world is going crazy right now, go ahead. Then look up. Look up. And lift up your head. And lift up your head, right? For your redemption draweth not. For your redemption draweth not. That means Christ is on his way back, man. Right. When we see all this stuff going crazy and all the stuff that's in the book is starting to come to pass, y'all need to be excited right now. Man. Come. Right. Christ is coming back, man. Come. And this world that y'all living in, that y'all tired of, it's going to be ending, man. All right. Hey, that's right. Y'all Hebrew Israelites, all right? All right, y'all kings and princesses on this earth, man. Right? So we need to be excited right now that, the, that our... Uh, our redemption draweth not. That's right. Bring it out, King. We don't need to be scared and have fear falling upon us. Don't uh, be right. scared. Don't be going out and protesting, man. Like the brother Yeshaya brought out. We did that already, man. That's right. Nothing changed. God. Jesse Jackson is still a cool. God. Right? <laughs> Nothing God. changed. God. All these other um, uh, um, civil rights leaders. Going and shaking the hands with the mayor. Nothing <laughs> changed, man. Matter of fact, Martin Luther King's uh, son is a cool. Martin Luther King's son is a And the daughter. That's Hugging right. a white man all the time. God. So look, man, we need to try something we ain't never tried before. Why don't we try to be Jewish, man? <laughs> I know that oh. sounds crazy to y'all, but why don't we try something we ain't never tried? God. And I'm not saying we Jewish people. But how come the hell, when they do the stuff in the book, they the richest people on the planet? God. Right? How come when they do the stuff in the book, they got their own community? How come when they follow uh, the laws that's in this book, they on the top of the world, man? Uh. We need to try to do the stuff that's in this book, because this is our book, man. Uh. Right? And with that, I yield my time and say, Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Kwame Asherala. Who got next? We got next. Who got next? We got next. We got next. We got that. For how long? Forever. For how long? Forever. For how long? Forever. What we gonna do? Take, Take the kingdom. kingdom. What we gonna do? Take, Take the kingdom. kingdom. What we gonna do? Take, Take the kingdom. kingdom. When? Now. When? Now. When? Now. Now. My shimmer on the shot. My shimmer on the shot. My shimmer on the shot. Come on, Shalala. Come on, Shalala. Death to America. Death to America. Death to America. Come on. H.O.I. to the chariots, fly. H.O.I. to the chariots, fly, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. My shiver on Shakya Shah. I do. Don't do that again. <laughs> Just let me go. Listen and understand that Terminator is out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop ever until you are dead. Can you stop it? I 
I don't know. With these weapons, I don't know. between them and there went out a champion out of the camp of the philistines named goliath of gath with six cubits and a span and he had an helmet of brass upon his head and he was armed with a coat of mail and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass and he had greaves of brass upon his legs and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear's head weighed 600 shekels of iron, and one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel, and said unto them, Why are you come out to send your battle in array? I'm not I a Philistine, and ye servants to Saul? <laughs> Choose you a man for you, and let him come down to me, if he be able to fight with me and to kill me. Then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. <laughs> I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David was the son of that Ephraphite of Bethlehem, Judah, whose name was Jesse. And he had eight sons. And the man went among men for an old man in the days of Saul. And the three eldest sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to the battle. And the names of his three sons that went to the battle were Eliab, the firstborn. And next unto him, Abinadab, and the third, Shammah. And David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Saul. But David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. 
Philistine drew near morning and evening and presented himself forty days. And Jesse said unto David his son, Take now for thy brethren an ephah of this parched corn and these ten loaves, and run to the camp to thy brethren, and carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand, and look how thy brethren fare, and take their pledge. And David 
Ted said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another, and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard which David spake, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion, and a bear took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered him out of his mouth. And when he rose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he have defied the armies of the living God. The Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. upon his head. Also, he armed him with a coat of mail, and David girded his sword upon his armor. And he essayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him, and he took his staff in his hand chose him five smooth stones out of the book and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had even in a script and his sling was in his hand and he drew near to the Philistine and the Philistine came on and drew near unto David and the man that bare the shield went before him and when the Philistine looked about and saw David he disdained him was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. And the Philistine said unto David, If he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then we will be your servant. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. Ah, am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? <laughs> to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my 
chasing after the Philistines, and they spoiled their tents. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem. But he put his armor in his tent. And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As thy soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. And the king said, Inquire thou whose son the stripling is. As David returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son art thou, thou young man? And David answered, I am thy son of thy servant Jesse, the Bethlehem. 